of our filing system. This this one is mine, and uh, it's it's the uh, Remington R1 version that came out with a, a few years ago. One of the reasons I picked this particular gun was the uh, sights on it. It had very large dot sights to line up, and like I so, said, when you as you get older, you have a little more trouble seeing the sights. These That's sights are, are quite easy to see. Good. I don't know uh, if you can. Try not They're to aim pretty at bright and right in my yeah, face here. They're just what kind of grit do you have on this? Is this an aftermarket thing? Yeah, you added? I, I changed the grip out just to uh, get a better feel for it. And what I put on is a Packmeyer. I think they call this the All American grip. It has. Uh, it's a rubber wrap around with finger grooves Let's hold it up and there. it makes it very uh, comfortable yeah. to hold and you feel as if you have full control with this with this there particular grip yeah. it's very comfortable I really it's like a, it's it it's a pretty gun yeah it looks I mean, awesome it, it probably is a little sleeker looking than the pair of ordnance yeah yeah um and the the wood um, I think I know I'm always partial to wood yeah grabs yeah. just from the way yeah, they look right. a lot of a lot of gun people are yeah. um it really gives it kind of a customized feel mm -hmm. and and really i mean this is almost a world war ii style of 1911 with the other than you know, the, the solid trigger yeah. yeah but i mean the solid trigger the plain oh, grip is. the plain grip safety yeah. like the para has the the wide beaver tail that up curls uh -huh. and and the uh, hollow uh, hammer. This one is more like the uh, the standard, uh, like a GI model, right? You know, except for the sights, really. But it's obviously much more precision engineered. And and then you throw these grips on it, and it just feels really nice. That's a double stack, also, right? No, it's, oh, a, it's, single, it's a single stack. Mm -hmm. it's the magazine is either seven or eight. Oh, okay. with one inch chamber. Yeah. Traditional 1911. So any, you know, any 1911 magazine works with this. Any? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. They're all interchangeable. So. Except for Except that double stack. Except for the, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the, the Which is that a, that's not a 1911. No, is it not? I thought no. it, I thought no, it no, kind of It just looks it. like it. <laughs> well, they, they make regular 1911s. Yeah. Where it does it as well. So it's just Is that what Josh had before? The, yeah. 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 yeah it was a double stack, I thought, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But this is, uh, so co comparing them aesthetically, I mean. Nice. Right. Aesthetically, there's there's no contest. This wins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Uh, in, in a, is it because of the wood? Yeah, I think so. Partly. Yeah, that's, that's got more thing. of a matte finish. This is matte finish, but it's a little richer. Yeah. yeah. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one of the other things that sold me on this gun in the gun shop. Uh, was if you pick up a 1911 new gun in a shop, rack it, rack it back. This this gun was smooth as silk right out of the box. Mm. Uh, most of them were not. No, a lot of them. The, yeah, yeah. Ones that cost twice this were not yeah. near as smooth as this yeah. gun. This is just, uh, you know, like silk. Yeah. On, on that score. As far as accuracy, I would say I know I did way better with this than the than the Glock. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, we all did. It it was second to the para in accuracy, feel of shooting it. Yeah. I, I think personally, I don't know. It's almost a push with for me with this and the mm. para. I like the I like the accuracy of the para. And I mean, this is almost I, there. I, I think, do like the flip-up yeah. safety, also. I think this one can actually be as accurate as oh, yeah. the pair. I yeah. think it's it's more in terms of uh, getting used getting to practice. the sights. Uh -huh. Yeah, practice, yeah. Practice with and it. the sights are they are nice and bold. Yeah, yeah. they're a little bit different. The, yeah. the only thing about this one that I had trouble with was the uh, the the gap on the rear sight isn't com you know. On most guns, it's not completely filled, but for some reason, I, I kept having a, little, a, a float left to right problem. Uh, a little gap. Yeah, and but having that grip, like I, I shot it before you changed the grips out, mm -hmm. and having that grip on there, it, it, it makes a big difference in bringing it up and, and letting it be centered. Mm -hmm. So, but, uh, but yeah, I think like you shot it better than the rest of us because you 
shot, shot it before. It before. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just getting used to the sights, I think, is a... The sights and the grip and yeah, just the, the feel, really. Yeah.